Hey guys, in, uh, in this Ali Citizen video we're going to be showing you how to turn a wireless router into a wireless adapter. So, I'll go over the key and key things you'll need to do this process and what routers are compatible with which. So now let's switch over to the desktop. Okay, so now we're on the computer and what you want to do is you want to access your router settings. Now you can do this by going to 192.168.1.1 or for me it's 1.2 or it could be 0.1 it depends on your router settings. Now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to link the wireless we're going to actually link the wireless router with the wireless router with the other wireless router. Now the key thing that you must know here is that you do not get the gateways the exact number otherwise you won't be able to access this router settings these ones that you see in front of me you'll only be able to access the other router settings because if they're both the same they will either a not connect to the internet at all both of them won't work b you will be able to connect to the internet but will not be able to access these settings and then you'll just uh, jump onto the one ahead of it which is Netgear in my case or three, it could just not like it at all and stuff up both routers and you'll have to do a manual reboot of both of them. Yeah, so the best thing to do is obviously I'm using a flash firmware as you know from ddwrdd-wrt.com and just go to their website and you should be able to do it from there to see if your router is compatible or not. I'll make a tutorial if you want me to just put a comment below. Uh, so here we are, we're in the wireless settings. Now you don't really need to do anything to these settings whatsoever apart from change the router IP address to something that you definitely know it won't be. So for BT Home Hubs it's usually 1.254, Virgin, Virgin Media it's usually 1.1, Sky is 0.1 so make it something 192.168.3.1 or something like that. So after you've changed that, make sure you click save and apply. You want to go to wireless and then you have something here called wireless mode you want to go to that and click client bridge and hit save now you need to click keep the wireless mode mixed and then keep the s and then you want to change the SSID to the one of your wireless router the one that you want to connect to so in my case mine is called sounds so hit save now then you want to go to wireless security because if it's got a password then you need to tell this router that hey it's got a password for it to connect so mine's a WPA personal, I know it should be WAP2 but I'm not too particularly bothered and it's already remembered my wireless password that's already in there so make sure you get it correct TKIP if you're not sure if it's a TKIP or an AES or if it's WPA or WPA2 or WEP just access your router settings and it should give you all the information in there. So if hit save now, hit apply. Now, if we're lucky, uh, we should be online. For now, it just requires for a router reboot, which is fairly simple to be honest. Just I'm going to unplug it right now, as you can see, and then plug it back in, and then it should spring into life. Now the brilliant thing about doing this with this wireless router is you can have four people connected via Ethernet on the same router connected to the same one and these since they're routers they obviously have a pretty good range so you could take this twice as far as you would be with a measly adapter inside your laptop so you could be on the other side of a house and do this very easily with just a spare router so I see these more effective than normal adapters and here we are, we are online so if I don't know if I do a well, I don't know, I won't do a speed test because that shows my IP, let's go I know, let's go to Skype's website so you can see that loads very quickly and if we refresh these settings now well, usually hold on usually you get something at the bottom here where it tells you the signal rate of the wireless connection but it's not telling us right that right now but I'm not too particularly bothered 
So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your wireless router into a wireless adapter. If you need me to make a tutorial on actually flashing the Linksys router itself, then I may not be able to do this because I may not be able to take the flash firmware back, but I'll definitely help you out in the comments, bearing in mind this could break your router, so I'd obviously try it with an old router off eBay or just the spare routers you have lying around. So this is now just another video and I'll see you guys later.